My favorite chord progression is the four, five, six. That's four major, five major, six minor. And I like it in all styles of music, but particularly this ambient sound has always appealed to me. And I wondered where it came from. Why did I start playing this chord progression in this way? try to spread the gospel of the four, five, six, it seems, to everybody I encounter. So I was trying to trace where it came from, how it nestled in my brain so deeply, and I sort of came to the conclusion that I was influenced by this TV soundtrack from Friday Night Lights. ingrained itself in my mind and for some reason I took it to be a four, five, six. But I went back and listened to that exact soundtrack, you know, one of the little snippets that I could find on YouTube, and it's not a four, five, six at all. So I've been playing this four, five, six for so long under the wrong pretense. I really just kind of envisioned that harmony out of nowhere, but it gave me the same feel. I realized the chord progression I had manifested in my mind was not even close to the one I had always been hearing. And that leads me to believe we interpret things in a special way, musicians, from one to the next. And I think that's a beautiful thing. But this video is not necessarily just about that fact. I want to show you how to make this kind of music because it's really fun and really simple and just sounds nice. Get your tissues out because we may shed tears together. I'm going to be recording it uh, and kind of taking you through the process, but you can use a loop pedal to accomplish this or just a bunch of reverb and delay. It's really fun and I know you're going to dig this. So the first ingredient is some sort of drone. I have a delay and some reverb and a nice clean delicious tone. The ambience never ends, and what I mean by that is there's a long tail on that delay and a high level of feedback, and as such, the reverb has a lot of decay. We now have a lovely canvas to paint upon. I'm not going to use the 456 because you're going to hear how the harmonic rhythm really dictates the emotion. What do you think? Those are pretty beautiful, emotionally moving chords. But the reason they are so effective is because of the harmonic rhythm. And what I mean by that is where they are placed among those repeating notes. So I could easily have gone. But that just kind of feels a little vanilla, you know, a little too ordinary. That's what I noticed in that exact uh, Friday Night Lights soundtrack rhythm of the harmony, where it fell on the beat, ultimately dictated how I felt. It kind of leaves you hanging, you know, during that first pause. In that space, you're not getting the resolution that you know it may go to because it doesn't want you to feel the resolution. You need to have tension in this music, and although these chords are beautiful, there is a lot of tension, and that just adds to the dramatic element of what's going on on the screen, of course. Anyway, now that you've considered uh, maybe less is more, or choosing not to necessarily go straight on the downbeats with your chord changes, I think the next place to go here would be to show you some melodic ideas and concepts because the thing is we're not even playing melodies that would sound nice. So something like this. That's way too much. We might play half those notes in like four more measures. And another point is the octave of any sort of lead or melodic line is limited. So this two octave shape we're not even gonna go outside of one of those octaves. I'll choose which one here now, but keep that in mind. We're still very, very simple and the notes are sparse. I 
maybe played a few more notes than I alluded I may, but the point is I'm trying to fill in the gaps without complicating the music, if that makes sense. So I'm not playing the exact same harmonic rhythm with my melody. I'm basically accenting and putting in my own little flair to build out what is a very empty landscape. The point of this whole subject is you can put two chords or three chords to work that really can move somebody and I don't care who you are. If you listen to this, you're gonna be like, hmm, maybe I, maybe I should, should call my mom today, you know, see how she's doing. As far as the harmony goes, if you know your major scale, then you know all of the chords that I'm playing here. It appears I've chosen the key of A flat major. So basically, find your diatonic chords. You can find them as dyads. Spread voiced triads. So now that you have all the tools, I'm going to put together a little composition that you can play when you're feeling a little blue or want to feel. Put it that way. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson, and until next time.